Hello, hello. I'm gonna make a quick video today because I actually need to go, and I hate that I have to because my hair is kind of pretty, but there's conditioner in it that's not supposed to be left in that I need to go rinse out that I left in overnight. Um, but I just wanted to get my video out of the way. I just went grocery shopping. I'm making some hard shell tacos tonight with some cabbage slaw and some rice and beans. Cause I really was craving Taco Bell, but I didn't want to eat Taco Bell. So, um, and I'm doing it. I'm, I got Taco Bell seasoning packet, which is so out of line for me. I usually would make my own, you know, kind of stewed ground beef situation, but I wanted that without actually getting it. So, you know, I'm, I'm going back to my old ways for today's for tonight's meal but the cabbage slaw is not that at all it's you know some jalapeno some cabbage uh lime vinaigrette some red onion you know cherry tomatoes and i got some greek yogurt for on top so you know i'm indulging with the <laughs> taco bell taco seasoning packet but um <laughs> and my rice and beans you know i'm gonna make some like turmeric lime rice that you know you know i'm still gonna be me but um i wanted to I had my dream was really interesting last night it was so much going on i'm not gonna talk about all of it because some of it it's on some really personal things after i did my interpretation this morning but i want to do talk about i do i want to do talk about girl what i do <laughs> i do want to discuss the 12th house of hidden enemies and I got, when I did my tarot reading this morning, I got the High Priestess reversed and I got the Five of Swords reversed and I got the World card. And immediately, because I had two people in my dream that were really like on some enemy stuff that I could not figure out why. Like one person was in my face, like Seventh House Enemy you know aggressing me trying to provoke me and the other person was someone who i who revealed to be an enemy in my life recently and it's a really interesting thing that i recognize that my eighth house house of other people's resources and i have venus and jupiter there so i experience a lot of like great gains and losses and so sometimes when i'm in a time of loss my 12th house enemies get revealed because those people fall away or they are become aggressors one way or another or they help me and then turn on me in some kind of way and so there's always a connection between eighth house and like my great gains and losses and you know that activating my tribe and ability to be okay through the resources of others activating the hidden enemy within people that don't need to be in my village right and that doesn't happen often and it has been a lot of people i can count on one hand over my entire 39 years of living and i would still have fingers left over you know what i mean but i've noticed these big life events and how that happens and you know also some like maybe you know 11th house social network um and and just to say i have venus in the eighth house with jupiter and capricorn venus is ruler is taurus taurus is my 12th house housing fourth house there's a grand try in there right and so anytime i'm dealing sp very specifically with like my foundation shaking up for one reason or another that happens so anyway the last person that that they revealed themselves to be that sort of enemy in my life um, after a tough time was in my dream. And they kind of come up in my dreams a lot and the dreams of my friends because we all kind of cut that person out after this. And that person has made like double Scorpio energy and is very like potent you know what I mean? Kind of a spirit. And so I feel like because no one in my friend group is giving that person any kind of energy, they are just popping up in everyone's dreams. And I think that's so fascinating. And I'm really interested in how this full moon um, in Scorpio 
that's coming up on May 5th is going to trigger this person because anyway the energy so anyway in my dream this person like pulled I, I was somewhere and I had paid for something and I left my receipt on the table and they took my receipt without me knowing or caring or you know whatever and did something and I ended up either getting some money back or something happened because they like rectified something with the receipt and then they came to me like oh I did this for you and I and I didn't get anything for it kind of a thing and I was like oh, okay and I just walked out and then they joined in with the person that in my dream was this random woman who I don't know who was provoking me in the street with a video camera, just, you know, recording something for their social media. And she was a vegan and she was just kind of provoking people in the streets. And I was one of those people. So this person who I do know in my life started talking to that person about me which i thought was interesting but i just was like okay whatever and walked off i didn't care because that person had is out of my life i don't really care what they do or what they say i am a shameless human being so i don't really worry too much about people talking behind my back or anything like that every single time in my life that people have talked about me behind my back and it's gotten back to me it has benefited me because what happens is a person tries to smear campaign me without me even knowing. And those people just get curious about who I am and then they find me and then they recognize who I am very authentically. And then they kind of end up liking me or wanting to do something from me or offering something to me. So it just always works out of my benefit, which brings me to my tarot reading. The high priestess represents the moon um, well, is represented by the moon. The moon is on the card. It's very important. And if you understand the astrology behind tarot, the moon, you would think would be the actual moon card, but the moon is actually attached to the high priestess. The moon is the ruler of my second house of money and values. Okay, stay with me now. She's reversed. My hands are off in this magic. Uh, is new moon time? Okay. Let things be. Five of Swords reversed. Some things against me, whatever they are, it's not my business. Doesn't need to be here. Not going to prosper. The world, right side up. I know that's right. What I understood is no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And as a matter of fact, any weapon formed against me will be a tool for my prosperity. And that's just what it is. And it's probably going to benefit me financially. So I'm just let that work itself out because it's not my business. It's not my business. And that's what I want to talk about when it comes to hidden enemies. It's not your business. I feed my ancestors weekly. I had coffee with them this morning. I'm about to pour them a drink, some fresh water, cook them some yams and rice. You understand me? Oshun got a fresh candle and some oils, incense lit. It's not my business. And I want everybody to understand when it comes to the 12th house of hidden enemies, it's not your business. And often, especially considering there's a grand triangle between the 12th house, the 8th house, and the 4th house, okay? Depending on your placements and things of that nature. But if you're like me and you got Venus and Jupiter in that 8th house, when one's triggered, so is the other. And for me, it's no way but up. So, I don't know what's going on because it's not my business. But I do know expect and have been and have had it confirmed that whatever it is benefits me so 
I'm gonna leave you here with that because that's my 10 minutes, folks. And I need to go rinse this conditioner out. I need to go, I'm gonna probably make a little grilled cheese or something. So I'm not hungry right now and I can take my time because my friend is coming over to do some body doubling, you know, neurodivergence. We need to sometimes get together to get things done. I think I also in that message, I'm supposed to release for purchase my six line sessions this Friday. So if you're not following me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, Shezza out of nowhere, Shezza Owen or Henny Jezzeret. Even though I think I should start a new t Twitter because y'all, I'm on that Twitter like cussing out K-pop stands for coming to Janet Jackson. I'm a reverent, I'm ridiculous, I'm shameless. I'm not appropriate. <laughs> and I, I just feel like I shouldn't mix that. But you know what? No, because I'm not doing spiritual capitalism. So yeah, go ahead and follow me over there because I will not be moved by needing to have a neat and nice brand. You need to know who I am. Like, I am mature and all that, but I'm also like kind of hood and I will curse people out. And, you know, I'm safe for marginalized people, but I'm kind of not safe for a whole I'm not safe for anyone else, you know what I mean? Especially bigots. Um, and also I'm goofy and I don't mince words. I like, I read people like the ghetto broad that I am. I'm educated, but I don't always choose to react that way. And I think it's just more important for me to just say that out loud and so if you do follow me it's not this like together account where i'm tweeting about human design and astrology every day or tarot i'm not i don't do that so if you do follow me just understand that that's not what you're getting you're kind of getting exactly what you're getting over here because the brand that shows out of nowhere is very random and that is the only thing that I can be consistent about. Um, so, Godspeed <laughs> if you do. But if you do want to find out about those sessions, it's probably going to be a Twitter launch because Jade is helping you with that. And so, that's probably where you're going to need to find out about it. But yeah, whatever your hidden enemies are doing are not your business. You keep your ancestors straight and let them handle that. And you keep your business together and you keep yourself moving forward. And any weapon formed against you will turn into a tool for your prosperity. Bye.